Hello guys, in this video we will be going to see how we can deploy and react application on AWS S3 bucket and expose it with the help of the CloudFront without making S3 bucket as public. Okay, so the problem is like before, uh, before like we have multiple videos on the YouTube which ask you to uh, make the S3 bucket as public and then after exposing it with the help of the CloudFront. But I think that's uh, uh, making the S3 bucket public is not required now. So we can use uh, OAC concept provided by the AWS. Okay, so here I have an basic React application running on my local machine, and uh, like it's really basic. And I know you you already have an React application. So what I have did is like I had compile build it as well, and I had built inside this build folder. Okay, inside this build folder. So what I will going to do? I will go to the S3 management console, and then after create a new bucket, I will call uh, call it as AWS Chef. Uh, web app you can select the reason as per your uh, requirement then after this scroll down and i will create a bucket and once this bucket has been created you can scroll go inside this s3 bucket and then after you can upload uh, upload the build files that you have built okay so i will going to select all those files and just put it here and then after going to upload it okay so now we would not be exposing this S3 bucket as public and then after we will going to create a cloud front basically. So I will go here and then after I will click on create a new distribution. I will choose the origin domain as AWS master chef like the one uh, with the name that with the bucket name basically I will going to select this. Then after it is asking for uh, name I will keep the uh, same. Then after it is asking for origin access basically. So, ori so origin access defined how would this cloud front access your S3 bucket. Okay, so the option is public. Like uh, if you wanted to make your S3 bucket as public, that is very easy. But what we will do, we will use origin access control setting that is all also recommended by the AWS as well. Okay, so this origin access control settings are basically what it will do. It will uh, create a new settings. Then after will provide as a policy that policy we will be going to add on the S3 bucket okay so that policy will going to allow ex, uh, allow uh, if CloudFront would be accessing this S3 bucket it would be allowed that but if anybody else try to access that it would not be able to do okay so I will click on create a new control setting I will keep the name as same then after you can add description if you want and then after sign request so basically it will going to sign all the request it uh, it will be sending to the S3 okay and uh, origin type as S3 then after I will create okay once you have create done you will be going to see like it's or uh, like filled with filled here as well then after I will scroll down uh, just keep all the configuration as default and then after it is asking for web so for now we don't want any web, uh, web application firewall so uh, we will do not enable the security protections then after i will select the price class as all like all the default settings then after i will just add the default root object so if you like you already aware of that like uh, all the routes are kind of registered inside the index.html so I, I will just edit it here okay and then after i will uh, name it some disc uh, like add a description so that it would be easy to identify okay so once this distribution get like created successfully you will be see the s3 bucket policy needs to be updated okay so it is basically gives you an s3 policy you need to just click on copy then after go back to the s3 management console and uh, go inside the properties I mean, sorry the permission tab then after you just need to edit the policy you just need to paste it and then after save the changes okay once this is done uh, you can close this as we don't need this now so as of now it is in the deploying state so uh, once it, it like it takes some time so meanwhile we can see like all the configuration so see the origin so origin domain is the basically the uh, endpoint of our s3 bucket you can check this out and uh, kind of it is uh, it is the origin access not sure why would I not able to yeah origin access is basically the origin access control setting that we have created right so we have that setting as well here now you need to do 
one more configuration as well okay so inside the error pages so what was the issue is like if you if you have not configured this let us suppose you wanted to access uh, your basically your url and then after slash user.js let us suppose okay and this slash user.js is not directly avail available inside your s3 bucket okay it would be registered inside the index.html correct so what we will going to tell is to the uh, basically aws is if you got any error something around 4.03 forbidden so what you need to do you need to customize this error response and you need to basically redirect this request to as index or html basically okay so kind of if you if you get 401 as well or uh, any other error as well so you can basically redirect to inside the index or html and once this is done what we will do we will just copy this and i will go to paste it here so you can see now we are able to access this application over the https and uh, using the cloud front url without exposing this s3 bucket as public so you can check this out as well inside the permissions uh, this blob of public access is on so uh, uh, no like it is not like the public open for everyone you would not be able to directly access this and even uh, we have not enabled the uh, static website endpoint as well right so is it, it is disabled as of correctly so we don't need this static website if we have if we are using the cloud front so that's it for this video if you have any queries or question you can post it down in the comment section